So again, uh, just to introduce myself, my name is Noah. I'm one of the educators with Shortcut Software. I normally do the Monday morning classroom sessions, uh, but I'm also doing a presentation today on Google My Business and how it works with shortcuts. So if you're unable to attend or if you have to drop out a little bit early, that's okay. We will be recording this presentation and we will be sending it out to everybody that signed up. So let's talk a little bit about this presentation and of course the format of our shortcuts presentations. So normally, our presentations are, are pretty short. This one is going to be no different, it's about 20 to 30 minutes. My microphone is of course on, I'm recording, everybody else is muted. Again, we will be sharing this presentation later. Hopefully you do hear audio. In case you don't, we are recording and there will be audio on the playback in case you're having issues with your speakers. We will take some questions uh, near the end. If it's something urgent, you can of course ask a question. There should be a little pop-up window that's on your GoToWebinar uh, toolbar where you can just type in a question. So if you can, please hold them until the end, unless it's pressing, then let me know right away. So if I drop out for a split second, don't be alarmed. Um, I think the air vents are kicking in and sometimes that causes me to cough. So I may disappear for just a split second. Okay, so let's actually begin. So today, the goal of today is to learn a little bit about what Google My Business is. So what is it? How do you use it? Why do you need Google My Business specifically? And if you're one of our Shortcuts customers, how do you optimize Google My your Google My Business listing? And of course, you also have the option to have us help you set it up for you. So the first little bit, what exactly is Google My Business? So if you've ever done a Google search, and this is something that you've noticed over the past few years, as Google continues to grow, they continue to add services, features on their search engine page. In the old days of Google, it would literally just be like a directory listing. You'd search for a topic, haircuts, spas, barbershops, and it would just give you a list of random spas and barbershops. And then as it became smarter, it said, okay, well, these are the businesses in your area, or these are the businesses in your zip code. So it got better at that. Then of course, it also started allowing businesses to advertise their services whenever a customer searched for specific things. And again, it wasn't just general advertising, it was for customers in a certain area to try to help them find locations. So one of the most recent things that Google has added to their services when they're searching is the ability for a business location and several business locations to appear immediately on the search results with things like store hours things like maps, directions, and even a list of services. So what Google My Business is designed to do is to help you manage how your business information appears across the Google platform. And it's, it's not just search, but your maps, your, again, services, your contact information, the services you provide. So all of that does start to synchronize with Google now through shortcuts. Now, if you're interested in learning additional features, you can always find out at google.com slash business, or you can follow our guide just to get started. So one of the nice features about Google My Business is if you're a smaller business, perhaps you don't have that many chairs, you're just a, a one or two chair barber shop or a smaller salon, and you don't even necessarily have your own dedicated web page. Google My Business is a good place to sort of get your foot in the door, get an introduction for your customers. So once it's optimized, once Google My Business is set up for your location, you can then build a web page using some Google tools. So you can start literally with nothing 
except how your salon or your spa synchronizes with shortcuts, claim your Google business directory, and then start building up from there so that your services, your online booking, all of that can be available through Google My Business. And even the ability to see how customers are reviewing you across multiple platforms, that even starts to synchronize with Google My Business. So of course, why would you need Google My Business? So it's important because the majority of your customers, the majority of business today is conducted online. Customers aren't phoning into the salon as much as they're just checking in online. Whether you have an app or whether you have a web page or some sort of online booking presence is super important. So if you're using shortcuts and you're not already taking advantage of online booking, this might be the best possible time to start with that. So you wanna make sure that whether you have a dedicated web page or not, it is optimized your business for Google My Business. So this is gonna help customers that are in your area, in your community, find you easier when they do general searches. So if you specialize in kids cuts, how do you differentiate yourself from any other location? So you can start to optimize your listing. Do you feature extension services, color service, chemical services? So when customers do general searches in Google, they don't necessarily say, I'm looking for a salon or I'm looking for a spa. They say, who, who are the best at doing half head highlights? And then shortcuts will say, okay, or in this case, Google will look at the shortcuts listings and say, well, this place is in the area and they happen to have a number of highlight services available in their menu. Let me recommend them. And this is how the business starts to appear in Google My Business. So this is why it's important that you set this up properly so that it shows up to customers that are in the area, that are looking for specific services, and make sure that you make yourself appealing to them. And again, this is different than an advertisement. You can always set up ads in Google, but this is not necessarily an ad. Google is performing a service, the same service that the old yellow pages used to do uh, back before the internet really took off. So how do you actually optimize it for Google My Business? Well, if you're new, to the entire process. There's a few steps you have to do. So the first thing you do is you have to claim and verify your Google My Business listing. This is something that a number of the salons and spas and barbershops that we work with don't even realize. They'll do a, a Google search just for their name, just to see if their web page comes up and they'll actually see their business listing appear in Google. They didn't create it, they didn't set it up. The Google bots were just searching through uh, the shortcuts connections and said, oh, well, I found a location and I found a service menu and I even found online booking services. So I'm going to display this to the customer. But you as the business owner, you may have noticed that, oh, it's showing my old phone number or it doesn't have the correct contact information or business listing, or sorry, business hours. So this is why you would want to claim that particular business listing, verify that this is indeed your location, your account, so that you can go in there and you can start customizing that information. So of course, the more accurate it is, the easier it is for customers to find you. So business owners, they don't realize that anyone can suggest to change a name or edit your business listing. This includes your competitors. So this is why it's very important. If you're searching, you find your business and you realize you've never set this particular information up, that you claim it right away. You verify who you are. The other thing is once you claim it, once you start adjusting your information, you can create Google posts, which are sort of like little entries that appear when your Google My Business listing appears. So if you have a promotion 
or a special, they act sort of like mini ads or social media posts. So they, they do show up when somebody just does a Google search for you and your business listing appears. So th the more information you provide into it, whether it's a special event coming up, and in this case, it's sort of back to school season. So if you put little pieces of information like that in Google post with Google My Business, then the odds of customers finding you just grow exponentially. And of course, sometimes you can't think of what you wanna say because you're well established in the community, you've been there for years, you have a lot of customers that already know about you and your services, but there's always new people that are looking for new salons or, or new just places for to get some services. So you might sort of introduce yourself in a way to these people. And one of the best ways is if you're having an event, if you're having a presentation, if you're having an anniversary, if you're having a weekend special, little pieces of information like that will catch fire, will bring people's attention, especially if you're constantly plucking it, whether it's once a month, every few weeks, the more engaged you are with Google My Business, the greater the results are when customers just do general searches. And of course, you start to expand that net you're of potential clients, not just your regular customers, but new clients, because they never realized why just a few blocks down from me is a new place that does color or offers aesthetic services or does nails. So just keep that in mind. Just because many people in the community know about you, it doesn't mean that all of the new faces know about you. So the more engaged you are with your Google My Business listing, the better it will be in the long run. So the first thing you wanna do if you haven't already done it, claim and verify your listing. So you want to optimize your business listing. So something important, if you maintain your Google My Business listing, you're five times more likely to get views than listings that have never been claimed by any of the actual business owners. So you want to begin an engagement with your customers, potential customers, members of the community. So you also have the ability to set up the ability for customers to ask you questions and you can actually respond on the Google My Business directory listing. So you'll get an email or potentially you'll get a text and you can respond to that text and show the customer that yes, you're an actual business owner and yes, you're responding to their feedback. So that begins to increase your search results. So something that a number of you are familiar with is what's called SEO, Search Engine Optimization. And if you have a dedicated web page, you know that you have keywords that you want to use and things that will make it easier for Google and the other search engines to find you. But that's how the, the technology, the bots, the algorithms find you. The way that customers actually engage with you, it's a little bit different. They don't know, you know, did you pay somebody to put this content on your page? Are you a real person? Are you an actual stylist that has been working in the business for 20, 30 years, just having that ability for the customer to reach out and say, I'm, I have a bridal party uh, coming up and we need to have a dozen people have their hair and makeup done. Do you think you can accommodate that in three weeks? And if right away an actual person says, yes, we've been uh, doing bridal parties for 40 years, we'd be happy to have you. Then they realize right away, oh, this is an actual person in actual business and they're, they're attending to me right away. So it's that customer engagement that makes Google My Business different than just having a web page. And again, if you don't already have a web page, this is the way to get your foot in the door. So you do have the ability to put screenshots in there. Do you have a new product that you'd like to highlight? Do you have some customers that said, hey, I love my hair, if you want to use me as a model, of course, get them to sign a model release form, but take a screenshot, share it with your clients. And when Google My Business comes up, not only will they see a picture of your location, but perhaps 
a picture of some of the products you feature, pictures of some of your satisfied customers, in addition to client reviews. So if you're not already using it, please consider start using it because your competitors are more than likely already on this and are already updating it. So this is where Shortcuts comes into play. So the Shortcuts software is synchronizing with Google searches. This is how Google is able to find out what services do you offer? Do you allow online booking? If so, what are the services that can be booked? What are your business hours? What's your phone number? So a number of your basic, basic information from shortcuts is available in a Google search. But then you wanna do a little bit more optimization than that. So are there certain keywords that can increase the likelihood that your salon, your spa, or your barbershop will actually come up in a Google result, will actually show your business when, that, when those results hit? So if you need help with that, then Shortcuts is available to help you optimize your listing. So you can start the process on your cell, or if you're not quite sure where to begin, you can let us know and we can help you optimize your listing. So there's a number of avenues and we just wanna make sure that you're aware of them. So with all that said, and with this presentation uh, just about to wrap up, we're gonna open up the floor. So now we're taking questions. So if you have any questions related to Google My Business or the services that we have, if you use your, uh, your question bar on the right side, you can type in a message. You might also have a chat bar Go ahead and take a moment and write any questions you may have. And I'll pause for just a second and I'll check the list. And I'll also check the chat window just in case somebody puts a message in the chat. And I think somebody is typing. Okay, somebody just asked a question. I have my Google My Business set up and synced up with shortcuts. Hmm. However, my Facebook and my salon reviews are not synchronizing. Is this something that shortcuts can help optimize? So Simran, I'm actually going to check with our developers to make sure your site is synchronizing correctly because that should start coming through with Google My Business. I don't know if it has something to do with how recent your, your surveys are going out, whether since your business is relatively new and Google hasn't gotten a chance to synchronize those portions, but I will absolutely reach out to our developers. I'm gonna write down the information and I remember you have a Sharkies, if I believe, and I will ask them about that. So I will follow up with you. And the question is, you're my local salon and your Facebook uh, reviews aren't coming up. Okay, I will reach, uh, reach out to them and have them contact you. Uh, Tina has a question. If you have bad reviews on Google, will those reviews appear to clients if they search for your place? If the customer has been putting their feedback directly in Google that can potentially appear on Google My Business. So Google is trying to be transparent in this case and not just allow customers, or in this case, business owners, to delete all of the negative reviews. That would be an unrealistic scale if every time a business is searched, they have a 100% approval rating. That's just impossible. There will always be customers that aren't quite happy. So that's the downside, uh, Tina, is that if customers leave those reviews in Google, then you, you don't really have a way to filter them out. However, as a business owner, you do have the ability to leave comments, to respond 
to customer feedback and just you know let your clients know that if there was a miscommunication that you're more than willing to see the customer again and fix it on their next visit it's not just that you're just going to accept negative reviews without saying something on your part it is a two-lane road all right kim has a question is this a free service through google and shortcuts uh, kim this is a free service through google so if you actually go to google and you just search Google My Business, how does it work? They can actually walk you through how to verify your account, how to claim your account, what the process is, and, and just some suggestions to help optimize it. Now, if you don't have time, Shortcuts does charge to do that. But again, this is a free service through Google, and you're welcome to just do a search and just sit through some how-to. And I think they have I don't think they have videos, but I think they have just step-by-step -step instructions with some pictures to sort of help get you started. Uh, Lisa has a question. How do shortcuts sync with Google My Business? I already have Google My Business profile, but I didn't know it could go through shortcuts. So Lisa, uh, shortcuts didn't always synchronize with Google My Business. It's actually a relatively new thing with one of the more recent builds of shortcuts one of the later builds of the fusion version that we have we started to synchronize with google's algorithms so this is something we've been working on them for a while so that's how it knows what your service menu is if you have online booking which services you allow customers to book online so that's relatively new now let's say you don't want and and this is actually a possibility that some salons have asked if you don't want your business synchronizing with Google My Business, you don't want your services available there, things like that, you can actually let us know and we can turn that synchronization off, but you have to contact support to do that. So it's, it's relatively new. That's probably why you didn't know it was synchronizing. All right. Are there any other questions that you may have? And and if you're watching this video later, or if you think of a question after the fact, go ahead and reach out to us. We will get back to you, uh, like I'm going to re uh, reach out to our developers and on behalf of Simran, but we will get back to you. We will investigate the question. And if you have other questions, again, just reach out to us after the fact, after this video, or if you're watching it later today. So let us know. So give our customer care team a call or an email. You can even ask us questions on Facebook. So we do check our Facebook page. So anything that comes up, let us know and we'll get back to you. Oh, one more question before we wrap up. Can I please have more details about the service in which Shortcuts helps to build a Google business profile? So give me just a moment, Tina. Okay, I will have our customer care team reach out to you, Tina, and just give you some more information about how we can help you optimize your business listing. Okay, but for anybody that's watching this video a little bit later today, if you have any further questions or if you think of anything that uh, the, the attendees did not ask, go ahead and send us an email. Give us a call. We will get back to you. And I appreciate all of the attendees that signed up and that are here with us. Uh, again, my name is Noah. I'm one of the educators with Shortcut Software. And I do teach Monday classroom sessions on the basics in Shortcuts. So if you have a new manager or a new receptionist and you just want to get them up to speed, we feature one specific portion of Shortcuts every Monday morning at about 9 o'clock. So if you have any new people or you just need a refresher, you might want to sit in on our Monday classroom sessions. All right. So thank you all for your time. And I look forward to hopefully seeing you again in the next presentation. Have a great day.